718 and what's trending? All right, so we told you yesterday on Sunrise that Adele is extending her Vegas oh, residence. Right? Yeah. Right, right, right. Well, now Kelly Clarkson has announced she's going to be performing in a series in Sin City as well. Nice. She broke the news on her show yesterday. Clarkson is going to perform at Planet Hollywood July 28th through August 19th in 10 shows. She says that's all she could commit to because she has a lot going on. I'm guessing being a judge on The Voice, mm -hmm. hosting your daily talk show. Being a mom. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's not all. She's actually working on her 10th album. Oh my gosh. It's called Chemistry, and it's about her breakup and divorce from her ex-husband. It's supposed to be released later this year, though Clarkson didn't give an exact date. Tickets for her Vegas shows, those are going to go on sale on Friday through Ticketmaster. She is a busy woman. I yes, remember I would is. watch her on The Voice, and then the next afternoon I would watch her on her, her talk show. And yeah. I, I mean, I don't know if they pre-record it, but it's like, she is everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so her new album sort of like a Taylor Swift kind of thing? Oh, yeah. Well, she says it's all about the journey of the relationship. Oh. She says she doesn't want to appear like she's angry. Oh, yeah. so there's some good stuff in it. It must be. <laughs> so she's as much as there can be after a divorce, right? So, yeah. so, so she's not going to cover Jagged Little Pill. I know. <laughs> Although that would be great. I don't know. Alanis Morissette. We'll, we'll, yeah. we'll see when it comes out. <laughs> All right. For the most part, we hold scientists from MIT with high regard, but sometimes you got to question their work. Like, why in the world would they be studying Oreos? What? Believe it or not, they just released a study about the perfect method to separate Oreos. <laughs> yes, they no. did a study on how to pull apart Oreos correctly, which they said was to evenly split the cream inside an Oreo when twisting it open. And being MIT, they overdid it. They created an Oreometer, an or Oreo meter, a 3D <laughs> printed apparatus which employs both rubber bands and weighted coins to represent the force of twisting apart the cookies. So what did their team conclude? What did they, team what did they conclude? conclude? They found out it's almost impossible to have evenly distributed cream on both sides of an Oreo after twisting. Uh, you could have told oh. you that. Yeah, I know. What? <laughs> we didn't need a study to tell you that. I yeah. smell no bell. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Expensive yeah. MIT education. Yeah. To find that out. And it's related to a study I never heard of before. Have it, has anybody ever heard of rheology? No. no. So it's the study of how mass and materials are affected by the twisting and compressing. Mm. Of Oreos. Of <laughs> any, any material. <laughs> yeah, any material. All right. They need to call us for those studies on there Oreos. There you go. We can do it right yeah, here in the studio. If you have any idea what he was talking about, thank your teacher. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> thank you.